Hello to all my friends out there. Hi from me and the family. <laughs> okay, this video is canning pear jam and hamburger and 10 money saving tips for the rest of the year. So here we go. Okay, so I was inspired by um, Disabled and Prepping She Canned Hamburger. So um, she had mentioned that go to Disabled and Prepping that she um, canned hamburger in, in pint jars. So today I bought two pint jars and I can hamburger, it's very easy. And then I learned all these videos are on my Twitter. Let's hope I can find this. Here it is. Who put their strawberry in my jam? Make some preserves with me, Mama Bear's Homestead. If you don't know how to do it, this video will really, really help you. And so I had already made cooked fruit and I made this pear jam. Uh, yesterday I canned uh, chicken. So, okay, so tonight I want to make myself a hamburger sandwich and I want to have some pear jam. And I also have some homemade pickles that I canned. I have some pickled eggs. And I have some homemade bread right here. Uh, this is the bread out of the French cookbook. I know some of you did the same thing I did. You have to put the, the um, flour in little by little. Okay, so now let's let's see what happened here so um what i want to do let's see if i can eat ah i want to uh try to can some of my um my um stuff in the freezer so these two little jars are a pound of hamburger and if i was cooking them down you guys, are these easy to get off? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, at least we know it's sealed, right? <laughs> this must be how you wreck your, um, you wreck your, uh, seals. Ah, you cut yourself and, wow. Well, the one guy that I watched said to press them down, so I did. Smells good. Okay, I don't know if I um, if I actually did mine a little bit too long, uh, but mine's like a solid piece of meat. So I have homemade bread, and here it is. I put onions and parsley on mine like I did the chicken. So. Oh, this looks pretty good, you guys. Uh, usually, okay, so this is a half pound meat. So usually I um, eat about a quarter pound hamburger. This tastes good. Now, here's what I got so far. The idea is if the power goes out, you're gonna have some, um, you're gonna have some food. You know, your, your food is not going to, uh, you know, get ruined in the freezer, all of it. Um, what I'm doing is since I'm new, I, I mean, I don't want a room devoted to my canning. I just want to try to do this a little bit at a time. So I have ketchup, I have mustard. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. I don't want to, I don't like to double dip. Okay, and I have some homemade pickles. 
I made these. They're very easy to make. I'll give you the recipes in a minute. Let me make my meal. So uh, this is the second. Uh oh, this is the second batch of cucumber. This is the second batch of cucumbers I put in here. And I have a few carrots in there too, and some onions. So um, I think maybe two is enough. Homemade pickles are so much yummier. You know exactly what's in them. All right, so here is my homemade canned hamburger. I could zap it, but I just made it, so I think it should be pretty good. All right, and I will just slip this one in the, I could eat another sandwich. Okay, so now I want to try some of this jam. Uh, now I think this turned out really good because before I even canned it, it was delicious. These parts are easy to get off. Well, we know my seals are good, right? Okay. Owie. Just wrecked my finger now. How do you, you get these things off? Okay. So here's my jam. Here's my bread, and it has butter on it. Um. I bought this pan today at the thrift store. I thought it'd be great for making a pizza. Right. And you know, I'll eat this up. I eat a lot of jam. So if you have home, here it is. If you have homemade jam, you're not going to be running out of fruit. And if you have ketchup, you can count that as a, as a veggie. Now, I made pickled eggs. These are easy to make. You make them just like the pickles. I have carrots. I have, maybe I'll have a few veggies. Okay, let's see. Um, I made three and I put them in another, I, I divided the brine in half. So I have some uh, cauliflower in there. And I have some, uh, what do I have in there? Uh, carrots and jalapenos. All right. So I think this is a pretty good little meal. So this is the idea that you could go into your um, stockpile. You could get yourself out. Uh, you could, here it is. All right, now let me taste this. We can't really say, I mean, maybe when, uh, see how good the birds are? They like to be in the video. They like to starve. Okay. When they're really, really happy, they crawl on top of the cage and hang upside down. So I don't know if they're that happy, but they're pretty happy. Okay, so now let's see. I think I'll have a little, a little salt on my egg. I injured my pinky finger today. It really hurts. That's not good. I don't know what I did to it. I'm always banging myself up. Uh-oh. Okay. So here's my... I hope everyone is doing okay. And last night, I had a... Um, I have some iced tea left. I thought that would taste really super duper. This is Dollar Tree. It's the, uh, where is that? It is, I thought it sounded horrible, but it's actually good. Uh, pineapple twice. Uh, this is a little assortment of tea from Dollar Tree. It's very yummy. And to go with my tea, I have this cake. I will eat that later. All right, let me taste my hamburger. So 
So we have the homemade bread, we have the hamburger, we have the homemade pickles. So here we have it. That is good. All right. So now let me give you the recipe for the meat. How I can this, it was very, very easy. Okay, I have one, one uh, pound of hamburger. I put garlic and onion powder and then I used my salt uh, this kind and this it, I just sprinkled enough on there so that all the hamburger was covered with salt and I let that set a few minutes then I sliced onions and dry parsley because I used all my fresh parsley and uh, I let I put a little salt on that and let that set for a minute then I started with the pints onions and parsley then you pack the hamburger gown but go to that uh twitter there's only a couple of there's one thing i wouldn't have done if next time but i followed his instruction it turned out good so uh each one of these pints holds a half a pound of hamburger and then i ended with onion and then i water bath canned it i bought this at the thrift store you just cover it up, cover the, the um, jars, and he said to put the hamburger jars upside down, so I did that. But I wouldn't do that next time because, you know, the, the stuff falls down a little bit, and, you know, you don't need really to do that, I don't think. And then you just boil it when it comes, you start start it on cool when it boils you boil it for 75 minutes otherwise an hour and 15 minutes that's probably because people use pressure cookers but i don't want to do that okay then i made my um i made the cooked fruit and today i bought this notebook to uh, keep my recipes in because you know i'm getting a lot of them so uh i bought I followed Mama Baird's. I got this at Walmart. This isn't the cheapest stuff I ever met. And it comes with this thing with all the different kinds of jam. So I located a pear. It was right here. And I had made cooked fruit. I didn't add as much um, sugar because I had sugar in my cooked fruit. And it says somewhere on there that it doesn't set up as good. So here is my uh, cooked fruit. So I had cooked fruit two cups. So I made half a recipe. I put a tablespoon of, um, of lemon. The reason I didn't try to demonstrate this is because I still don't know what I'm doing that well. And then I added two, a half a package of this sugar gel, a third cup water. See, here's the other half. And I added that in with my fruit and I stirred it until it came to a boil. Then when it came to the boil, I added a third cup of sugar and I boiled that until it boiled. And then I boiled for one minute and then I pressure canned it in the water bath for 15 minutes. So the cooked fruit goes fast. Let me taste my cooked fruit. This is good. Out here, I can get fruit and vegetables all week long marked down. Um, the pints cost me about $12 for 12. So I can buy them new just as cheap as I can buy them used. I'm not going to go over the pickles, but when I made the pickled eggs, I used one cup vinegar and one cup water. And everything else was the same so that my brine was a little bit sweeter. And I posted a whole bunch of pickling brines on my Twitter for you guys. 
and I pointed, posted my banana cupcakes. So the Twitter is like a cookbook. That's what I wanted to do when I set up the Twitter. Uh, these are really reasonable right now. These big, huge uh, $3 and something cents at Walmart. So um, the banana cupcake, which is one of the best recipes I know, is on... And it's kind of fun to uh, watch those old videos that I made a, a long, long time ago. They were really, really bad, but the recipe is legit. Okay, so that is good. Okay, I was watching a video today and I thought, I totally don't agree with what you're saying. And what he was saying is that he, we should approach each day making the most of each day because anything can happen to you. Catastrophic illness, catastrophic injury, you could be killed. And you know, I used to be a, a nursing student and I mean, I have people go, you were no nurse. I go, okay, kiss my ass, but that's not the point. I never like to think about things that way. I like to prepare and if things are good now, cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, there's all these worrisome things in the whole wide world, and I, a lot of people have that sense of impen impending doom. Also, no matter how injured you are, or no matter how sick you are, your body has a certain amount of recuperative power, so you just wanna do everything you possibly can. That was my job to help people. I tried, believe me. Okay. So what I do is I prepare, I don't go wild, but why not cook up some of my meat? Don't worry about catastrophic illness. I do pray all the time when I'm driving and when I get into my car and I ask God to keep me and my family safe. But still anything can happen, but I don't like to live that way. I, I'd rather cross that bridge. And then when stuff happens, one of the best things you can ever do is just don't make it worse. A lot of times when you have a lot of problems, it is a tendency to make it so much worse. Okay, so now 10 money saving tips for the rest of the year. So this is like, don't make it worse. Uh, things are very bad. The price of everything is very high, but What we want to do is we want to make the most of the good that exists right now. Okay, number one, stop using your credit cards as much as you can. I buy Cokes. I buy, you know, if I want to buy a little something, but don't go wild. Keep an eye on the cards. Because they're closing the cards down and they're doing all kinds of stuff. And you want to keep all of your credit because... When people start, this is not, you know, being pessimistic, but they're saying, you know, expect defaults. So you don't want that to be you. So what you want to do now is protect your cards with your life. Okay, number two, pay off your car if you can. My car is paid off, but you know, if a catastrophic car accident <laughs> happens, so get insurance cross that bridge when you come to it. I do see, you know, I'm an EMT and I do see, I saw the most dangerous thing I've ever seen is these two guys. One had his head under the back wheel and the other one was jumping on the, the tail. I'm, oh my God, you know. So, and be careful with your car because your car I, I saw something, I sold my car, oh no. I never sell my cars if I can avoid it. I try to keep them all. Number three, reduce all your expenses, reduce utilities. Okay, so I'm going through everything. The birds are causing me. The two of these two, now I gotta buy them greens because I discovered them, but that's okay. So I'm going through all my expenses, my gas, my utilities within reason and just start cutting the things that it, 
cut in a way that is not going to affect your standard of living. If you lose your credit cards, if you lose your car, if you don't pay your more <clears throat> mortgage, that is going to affect your standard of living. Four, come up with creative money saving ideas. Okay, one of the things I decided to do was convert my car into like a car home. I did it before, but I got all screwed up, you know, and it was so hot. My car is all messed up. So I'm working on that. And I want to make it like a home, you know, with my my um, sleeping bag, with my food, and so I'll show you. Number five, indoor garden. Here is a pea that I grew out of one of the peas. I bought more uh, snap peas today. These are easy to grow. I don't know if any peas will happen. We have to wait. And canning food. So I've been doing that. Um, on Mama Baird, and I agree with her, if you have new seals, there's nothing to stop you from you reusing your jars. Like, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to buy a bunch of jars when I get jars every single day. So, um... Uh, yesterday I used my uh, my uh, parsley okay number six save cash as much as you possibly can so this one is easier than said than done but trying to save uh, in a couple of the recessions that I have been in I had some cash and it really really came in handy okay number seven you all know this one mark down shopping like I'm sure this hamburger is the hamburger I bought for a dollar sixty nine, and I bought four. Um, I was in there today, four pounds. And um, I, I don't really need meat though, because you know I'm cooking my meat down sales. I try to buy everything on sale. Today I bought something nice on sale. Uh, this is ten dollar lotion that I got for four dollars. This is a great deal. I got this uh, cookbook and this pan half price. So uh, this was like uh, 50 cents. I'm going to make some stuff out of that. Uh, I was looking for luxury items, but there wasn't any. And thrift store shopping. Just, you know, like if you, uh, one of the things I'm looking for is canning stuff. And uh, I saw a heater, a little heater, and I didn't buy it. And that was a big mistake. Because if we have to economize on heat and air, then, you know, we have this stuff. Plan meals. Okay, like for breakfast, for like a thrifty breakfast, cereal and milk. I try to find the cereal for 20 cents a serving. And then, you know, I stock my own milk. Sandwich with a small fruit or veggie. So my pickles. Well, let me taste my um, egg. If you have a tendency to run out of food and you start doing this stuff, you could make an egg salad sandwich. This would be great, this jam and toast. Toast with peanut butter and jam is a great breakfast. Okay, when I was a nursing student, I was in this one really good facility where the people had money. And so we could buy the lunch if we wanted to, and it was $3. So that told me the lunch was $3. And there were really, really good meals like halibut with uh, scallop potatoes, and so I bought I'm sure I bought this at one of the dollar stores. So I'm not making scalloped potatoes because I have a bunch of mashed potatoes. But that's gonna I try to stay for dinner around three dollars. Number nine, stay the course. Okay, so if you're going along okay. Don't do anything crazy. Just stay the course for the rest of the year. That's what I'm doing. 
10, make your food at home, homemade and stockpile a little. Okay, you, you know, if you make your bread, my bread is yummy, but the bread can be really expensive, but I saw really good bread down there at Ralph's for less than $3 cupcakes get my banana cupcake recipe cookies and muffins you know baked goods and uh, I'm looking for good candy uh, I'm looking for really good chocolate candy marked down so that is my 10 money saving tips okay you guys please like comment and subscribe and God bless you all